This week, Parasha, Parashat Toldot. You know, very interesting. Parasha talks about Mashiach. You know, last week, the Parasha talks about the generation of Ishmael and the last Pasuk, Torah tells us, Vashkiru Mechavir Atshur, Asher Apenin Sodrahim, Ba'acha Ashura, dwelling of Ishmael, and says, Pelekol, Al Pelekol Echav Nafal. And he says that in front of all of his brothers, Nafal. What does Nafal mean? Rosh says, Shachem, dwells. But Chazal say, for dwelling, why should we use the word of Nafal that has some indication of falling down? Balaturim explains that Torah is connecting the parasha of Ele Toldot with, with Ishmael and Nafal. Kishipo, Ishmael, Ba'achret Ayamim, Aziz, Bach, Ben David. Shumitro, that is when there is a downfall of Ishmael, then there is a told of Isach, the Mashiach. Therefore, this big parasha is the birth of Mashiach. Mashiach is somebody who is going to be the salvation of Am Israel. That's going to happen with the downfall of Ishmael. Now, the parasha tells us that Isach has a twins, two brothers, are born from the same womb, the same parents, but these two brothers are very different. They grew up. Now, we know in the history of Torah who is Esau and who is Yaakov. Esau is such a wicked person. The Navi says that Hakadosh Baruch Hu sanetiet Esau. I hated Yaakov. I hated Esau. Hashem said. And I love Yaakov. Unbelievable. Somebody becomes hated of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Hashem hates him. And somebody becomes beloved of Hashem. Now, what's the description for them? A long list of wickedness of Esav and a long list of the good deed of Yaakov. But listen to Torah. Torah tells us who is Esav, this, this person that Hashem hates, and who is Yaakov that Ashokosh Baruch Hu loves? Ish Yodei Asayid Ish Sadeh. Esav Ish Ish Sadeh, the man of field. Rashi says, what does it mean, the man of field? Ish Batel. Somebody who wastes his time. He doesn't use his time properly. He doesn't have any worth for his life and his time. And Yaakov Ish Tam Yoshev Ohalim. Somebody who's not expert in doing different things and is Joseph Ohalim Ohlashul Torah, he sits down and he learns, he uses his time. Now, Mefarshim are very much bothered. That's not the right description. Somebody who's a criminal, is such a wicked person, Hashem hates. What's the description for such a person? If Sadeh, he nullifies his time, he's not, doesn't have any worth for his time. And somebody who is beloved of HaKadosh Baruch Hu is considered Ishtam Yosheh Halim. Here we are. Torah is telling us what happens, what are the roots that makes the person to be hated of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And what are the roots that make somebody beloved of Hashem. A lot of times we feel we have to do the greatest crime to be son of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. No. Torah is telling us when a person doesn't have Hashibut worth for his time. He wastes his time. He wastes his life. The days comes, the hours goes, and he doesn't accomplish anything. He doesn't do anything. Ish Sadeh, a man of doing just business and working and getting involved in whatever that he's doing, doesn't get to his family, doesn't get to himself, doesn't get to know himself. That little by little, the root is there to become somebody's son of Hashem. And Yaakov Ishtam Yosheh Halim is a plain person. He doesn't cheat. And he uses his time. He has Hashibut for every minute of his life. He knows the days of life, there is a worth into it. I have to use them properly. He uses with his business, with his family, with all types of socializing and being with people, helping and doing. Very interesting. Torah is teaching us, do you know, we want to make out of ourselves somebody who is beloved, we have to know 
How are we using our time? Do we, are, do we, are we using our time properly? Usage of our time in a way that efficiency to use it properly or not? If you are just wasting time and not using properly, is the gateway to Chassu Shalom to Esau. And that's the description Torah gives us. Very really sounds very simple, but that's the simple formula how to make great people. A great person, somebody who uses his time wisely.